in alpha, the mass decreases by 4, the proton number decreases by 2, in beta positive, the proton number decreases by plus 1, in beta negative, the proton number increases by plus 1. So let's say that we have this unknown particle x that has a mass number of 88 and a proton number of 20. And the question says that it undergoes alpha particle alpha decay plus it undergoes beta negative decay. And what will the final mass and proton number be? So here, beta negative, the mass would, would not change. In alpha, the mass decreases by 4. So this would decrease by 4. So it will become 84. And this proton number in alpha decay, first it undergoes alpha decay. So the proton number will decrease by 2. And as I said that in beta negative, the proton number will increase by 1. The mass will stay 0. So first 20 undergoes alpha and it de the proton number decreases by 2, so it's 80 in here. Then it undergoes beta negative. In beta negative, the proton number increases by 1 and this becomes 19. So the final proton number would be 19. Let's look at another example. Let's say we have x, the same mass number and the same proton number but it undergoes alpha alpha beta positive decay alpha decay the proton number uh, the mass number decreases by negative 4 the proton number decreases by negative 2 then again it's an alpha decay so the mass number decreases by 4 the proton number decreases by negative 2 in beta positive decay, the mass number decreases by 1. If it's positive, then the proton number decreases by negative 1. And if it's negative, then it would increase by 1. But it's positive here, so ignore this. And the mass number would, would not change. So the final product would be 88 minus 4 minus 4. That would be 80. And this 20 first undergoes the alpha decay, which is 18 a proton number here. Then it undergoes another alpha decay, so it becomes 16. Then it undergoes beta positive. The proton number decreases by 1, so it becomes 15. Therefore, this would be 15 proton numbers and mass number would be 80.